In this video, we'll be going over an invaluable resource on engaging with people from a naturalistic view of science. Coming up. What's up everybody, my name is Josh and welcome to Christian Sophistry, taking apologetics to the next level. And part of that mission is providing you with the tools and resources to build your knowledge by doing content reviews just like this one. And in this review we'll be talking about the first reference book that I have ever recommended on this channel. And that book is The Dictionary of Christianity and Science. And I won't be recommending very many reference books on this channel and that's because I want to recommend resources that are open to a general audience. But I do think reference books like dictionaries, encyclopedias, and handbooks are essential for any successful library. But the reason that I'm recommending this book in particular is because I think it's so unique and useful in an age of growing skepticism. And I very much feel like the word dictionary doesn't really do this book justice for the amount of content that is actually in it. And I want to say encyclopedia, but encyclopedias usually have pictures, which this book unfortunately does not. And let me just go ahead and say right off the bat that I'm sure nobody really believes that I read all 691 pages of this book. And that's true, but this is not really that kind of book. But I did sit down with this book for a good amount of time, and I can say that I'm genuinely excited about the information that is in this book. So let's get to the ratings. Remember that every book that I rate on this channel gets rated on a scale of 1 to 10 in four different categories. Difficulty, uniqueness, importance, and customer satisfaction. And I'm not going to rate this book in the area of difficulty because it's a reference book. It's supposed to be a tool that is used to help people build their knowledge. So let's go ahead and start with the category of uniqueness, which I scored this book a 9 out of 10. This book is unique in a lot of different ways. This book is able to separate biased information versus non-biased information by giving it separate sections where authors are allowed to talk about conclusive ideas or essays or just other miscellaneous stuff. And each section contains references and recommended readings and the name of the author so that you can check back on credibility. And on top of all that, this book operates within a very unique niche of modern apologetics, which I'll talk about later. But what I really want to focus on is the multiple view approach that this book takes. There are over 140 contributors in here that are leading scholars from all over the world. Contributors including William Lane Craig, J.P. Moreland, and C.S. Lewis. Alright, that last one may have been made up. And having big name famous scholars and everything is cool, but what I find most impressive is that they were able to gather people from such different viewpoints to collaborate on this one book. Understanding things from different points of view and being a resource is literally what this channel is about. And I think I've spent enough time on this category, so I'm going to go ahead and move on real quick. So moving to the category of importance, this book scored a 9 out of 10. This book is not just a dictionary or encyclopedia, it's a discussion. This book is filled with necessary information for anyone that is looking to engage in the highest level of apologetics. Understanding a variety of different views is vastly important for engaging in apologetics today. And this book operates within such a small niche of Christianity and science, which are often not thought of as things that can go together and are often thought of as mutually exclusive. And I think that this book demonstrates the exact opposite of that. So finally, this book scored a 9 in customer satisfaction. And honestly, I think that it should be more. I tried to find something wrong with this book, but all I could find was that, like, this stupid page is, is cut wrong, and it, it's a different size than the rest of the book. It's annoying the heck out of me. And I'm pretty sure that I just have a special copy that might have gotten cut wrong, but the point is that this book could be higher. There aren't many Amazon reviews right now, and that's because this book is still so new. But that also means that it's quite up to date. And normally this book sells for $60, but right now on Amazon, it's $30. So if you want to support this channel, go ahead and click the link down below to add this book to your library. 
Also, if you thought this book review was valuable, go ahead and like and share this video with your friends. Otherwise, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.